Hey everybody, we're going to be looking at running Logic Pro 10 on an iPad. Okay, just sort of. This is a demo that I did just a little bit ago running this on my laptop, but using Sidecar. So this is the new version of OS 10 and the new version of iPad OS. And it's actually a really cool situation. It works great. Both of these are in beta still, but just hooking this up and using the Apple Pencil to change things, manipulate logic. There's a few instances that I thought were really useful. Things like EQ, not so much, because we have the Logic uh, app already, so we can actually do a lot of that control surface type work. But there's a few things that uh, really did seem to make a difference. But first of all, the responsiveness, the ability to do things in here, it, it was so snappy and so efficient. Uh, the one thing I wish you could do that I haven't found out how yet is to use my finger instead of the pencil, but uh, it seems to be that that right now is the main way to do it. So things like inside alchemy, when you want to manipulate certain things, there's certain parts of that which really lend itself to uh, the, the pencil instead of just using the mouse. There's other controls and things you can change things so quickly in there. Go down the row of those with the, the pencil and I really enjoyed working in that way. Now, overall, you still have to have the computer running logic, but this can work, and it says anywhere within 10 meters, or you can connect it for even snappier response, but over the Wi-Fi, I didn't really notice any major issues whatsoever. So you can just have your main station in the other room and go out and start working on the iPad with this and do editing and automation like this. You can see automation is so easy when you can just draw it in with a pencil instead of having to rely on a mouse or even a fader in real time. So this was actually probably one of my more favorite things I could do. Drawing in MIDI notes was actually kind of interesting. It would take a little time, I think, to fully get used to it. But um, I do think that there is some strong potential here in using notation. I didn't go into the score editor at all, but there could be a lot of potential for the combination of these two things in the future. Drawing in control data for MIDI was super easy as well. So just so many things that were interesting to try out using this environment. Now, this is not the first time we've been able to use the iPad as an extension of a computer. But certainly, once these were both installed with the beta and on the same Wi-Fi, I just had to go into the, I just really had to click one button in order to just share everything from the one computer onto the iPad screen. So it's so easy. There's really nothing to it. That's one of the things I liked about it the most is that I haven't had any issues. The one issue I have had because the touch bar from the laptop shows up at the bottom of the screen, or you can have it show up there at the bottom of the iPad, half the time it's non-responsive. But I'm assuming that that kind of thing will get worked out more with future betas, and then in the full version, hopefully that kind of thing won't be an issue at all. Okay, just a really quick look at running Logic 10 on a laptop, but using Sidecar to share it on the iPad, and then having full functionality of Logic there. Okay, what do you think? Think this is something that you're going to do? Think it's something you're interested in? Drop comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and share and all the other good stuff. So another video coming up in a couple days. Happy holidays to those in the United States. Otherwise, hope everyone else is having a great week.